In this video, I'm sharing five of my favorite essential oils for confidence and showing you how to mix them up into a DIY roller blend that makes a really beautiful self-confidence perfume. So if that sounds like your jam, hit that like button and let's get away. Welcome back boss ladies and hello if this is your first time here. My name is Tara Wagner of exotara.us. I'm a belief breakthrough coach with almost a decade of experience. If you're a female entrepreneur who would love to crush her goals, not her soul, be sure to subscribe for weekly videos to help you overcome your limiting beliefs and bad habits holding you back from that next level of success. Now, I just dropped two videos on self-confidence and in one of them, I mentioned using aromatherapy to kind of help hack your limbic system, change the way you think and feel with what's called a pattern interrupt. The other way that aromatherapy can also help to build confidence is through the power of association. So if you have a mindset practice around confidence, maybe some affirmations like I was mentioning in that last video or any other practice that you might be using, when you use the oils with that practice, you're creating an association between the aroma and the way you're feeling in that moment. So then when you go into a different situation where maybe you wouldn't feel as confident, you can use the aroma again, and it's going to boost up your confidence because it's gonna bring back the way that you felt and what you were thinking in this frame of mind when you were doing this practice and feeling really good. It's gonna bring that into the situation where you might otherwise feel really nervous. So let's go into the five oils that I love the most and a blend that I've made. Grab a pen and some paper. We're gonna go through each one of these oils. You can take notes on what exactly it's doing in this blend, and then I'm gonna share the recipe for the blend towards the end. The first essential oil in this blend is bergamot. I've done an entire video on bergamot because it is one of my most favorite oils that I think everyone should be using with their mindset practice. And that is because bergamot is the oil of self-approval, self-love, and self-acceptance. And no matter what you're doing with your mindset practice, you gotta start there, right? So bergamot is beautiful for that. It's also very uplifting and a very encouraging aroma. Most citruses are, but bergamot especially, I just absolutely love the way that it smells. So in this blend, this is gonna help you to let go of self-criticism, maybe some negativity that you might have around what you're doing or who you are. And it's just gonna help to increase your energy level and help you to feel really good about who you are and what you're doing. The next oil in this blend is grapefruit. Now, bergamot is all about self-love and self-approval, and grapefruit is too, but it's really about loving and approving of your physical body. A lot of times when we're dealing with confidence, we don't feel comfortable in our own skin. So bergamot, excuse me, grapefruit, is gonna be the oil that's gonna come in and encourage that and support that. So if your confidence is really around you know, just your physical form, what you look like, the shape, the body that you get to live in, the grapefruit is gonna be the oil that's gonna help you to just fall in love with this body and how you get to show up. The next oil in this blend is spearmint. Now, spearmint is often called the oil of confidence speech. Obviously, when we're dealing with confidence, part of what's gonna come into that is our ability to speak up, to share our truth, to be authentic in what we're stating to other people, to just feel like we have a voice. And spearmint is in this blend for that reason, so that as you are going throughout your day, throughout your business, throughout your life, whatever it is, whatever area that you are looking to build confidence in, you're gonna be able to really express yourself at the same time. Spearmint gives you a little bit more emotional energy. It kind of increases your emotional charge. It's gonna bring in a little bit of clarity and it's just gonna encourage you to not hide, not hide your thoughts, your emotions, your beliefs, your opinions, your needs, whatever it is that you're needing to express, you're gonna feel that confidence to do so with the spearmint in this blend. The next oil in this blend is pink pepper. Now this is a little bit newer to me and I'm really enjoying it. 
This oil is in this blend to help you to stop comparing yourself to other people. Now, I did an entire video on comparisonitis, so if this is something you struggle with, be sure to check that out. When we're building our own confidence muscles, it's really important that we're protecting ourselves from comparisons. When you are just starting out, think of yourself kind of like a fragile little sprout, right? If you're going around and you're comparing yourself to other people while you're still kind of in this new budding stage, it's going to just destroy you. It's like stepping on that sprout. So we want to throw in the pink pepper into this blend to help you break that pattern of comparing yourself to other people or leveraging it in a healthy way, which is what I talk about in that video. And then the last of my favorite essential oils for confidence is cassia. Cassia is in this blend to help increase your courage, to put yourself out there, to not hide, to not feel as though you need to pull back. It's really going to kind of light a fire and give you that spark and that desire to start putting yourself out there. Obviously, fear is a big part of why we struggle with confidence. Fear about what other people will think, fear about whether or not we're good enough. So Cassia is really just about calming down those fears and giving you the courage to move through them because you're not gonna get rid of the fear first before you start doing the thing, but you are gonna be able to help kind of mitigate the fear or calm it down a little bit while you start putting yourself out there. And you need the courage to be able to do that because the best way that we break a habit of fear is through a habit of courage. Now, before I show you the ratios and how to mix this up into a blend, I want to share some affirmations that I want you to start using with this blend. Obviously, you can customize these, you can bring in your own, but here are four affirmations for confidence that will help you to start writing in this pattern into your limbic system a little bit faster. I actually really like myself so much so that it's okay if others don't. It's okay to stand out and to stand back. I do what feels right in the moment, knowing I can change course at any time. Even though I've been taught otherwise, I choose to deeply and completely love, honor, and respect myself. I'm already enough. I've always been enough. History has proven to me that I can handle this too. Now, a quick little side note, if you're a female entrepreneur and you want to understand more about how essential oils can help to up-level your mindset and change the way you're feeling in your business, be sure to grab my Sniff Sniff Affirm download. It goes through how these work, it goes through my top oil recommendations, and it lists dozens of affirmations to help you to get started. It's called Sniff Sniff Affirm. You can grab it down in the description below. As that's downloading, I'm going to have you write down the ratios for this DIY. DIY blend. What you can see in here is this is about a 10% dilution rate, which means the essential oils fill up about 10% of the bottle. And then the rest you're actually going to fill with fractionated coconut oil. You're going to want to include seven drops of the bergamot, five drops of grapefruit, three drops of the spearmint, three drops of the pink pepper, and two drops of the cassia. Top that off with your fractionated coconut oil, mix it up really well, and then you can apply this over the pulse points on your wrists, behind your ears, your solar plexus, which is that sense of self, or over the bottoms of the feet. Just remember that the bergamot and the grapefruit are sun sensitive. So if you go out into the sun after you're applying this, you're gonna get a pretty bad sunburn. So stick it where the sun don't shine. I'd love for you to comment below, letting me know your favorite essential oils for confidence or your favorite affirmations for confidence. Don't forget to download that Sniff Sniff Affirm guide. Give this video a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe for weekly videos to help you crush your goals, not your soul. Oh, and share this with other people who wanna do the same thing. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.